Well, praise the Lord. Good morning. God bless you. Welcome to Victory in the Valley. This is Pastor Kevin Ortiz, and we're so excited. We thank God for you uh, for watching today's program. This, this program is going to change your life. We have recorded this message from Faith Pleases God Church here in Harlingen, Texas. And so we are friends. We are brothers in Christ. We're your neighbors. Amen. And God is doing great things at this church. If you ever have, a t have time, please come on out on Sunday morning at 11 a.m. and come visit me. I know that God has a special blessing for you. You need to come and receive the word of God. You will never be the same again. Amen. In today's message, I know it's going to be a blessing to your life. The anointing of God is upon it. I want you to receive the word of God so that your heart will be open. But understand this, that God will lift up your faith through the word of God. And then things will begin to change because you open up your heart for God to move. Amen. I pray that this, this, this message blesses your life and that things will change in your life. In Jesus' name. Father, I ask that you touch them. I ask that you use this message to have big impact in their life. Bless them in the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask you to heal them, protect them, and provide for them, Father God. Thank you, Lord, for stirring up their faith to receive your word today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Don't change that channel because my father would always say, and I say it as well, it gets gooder and gooder. Thank you for watching today's program of Victory in the Valley. I'm going to read a scripture to you. Voy a leer esta escritura. If I can get it here. And it's a very familiar scripture. Y es una escritura que todos conocen. It says, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to those who are bound. Isaiah 61. Isaías 61. Tonight, Esta noche, we're going to be talking about that liberty vamos a hablar sobre la libertad, that comes to the captive. Que viene al cautivo, the opening of the prison que se abre la cárcel, to those who are bound. A esos que están agotados. And you might be saying, Posiblemente dices, I'm not in prison. No estoy en prisión. Well, the word of God here is not talking about a physical prison. La palabra de Dios no habla, habla sobre una cárcel física. It's talking about a spiritual prison. Habla de una It's espiritual. talking about those things that you're bound to. Esas cosas que te tienen agotadas. Those things that ha you can't seem to be free from. Que no te puedes de ellas. But the word of God tells us La palabra de Dios nos dice that he has anointed us que nos ungió to preach the gospel, para predicar el to proclaim liberty to those who are bound, a esos que están the opening of the prison, abrir la cárcel, to set the captives para free. Liberar los cautivos. So tonight, that is exactly what we're going to be doing. Esta noche es lo que vamos a hacer. Whether it's for you si es para ti, or if it's for somebody else, o para alguien más. you need this word. Necesitas so esta I want to encourage you tonight, te animo esta noche. I'm going to be teaching a little bit. Voy a enseñar. So take notes. Tome notas. Because there's a lot of scriptures. Hay mucha escritura. But it's a word that will set you free. Pero es palabra que te va a liberar. The same word. La misma palabra. That set me free. Que me liberó a mí. Because I didn't know that I was bound to certain Porque things. Yo no sabía que estaba agotada I didn't know cosas. that I was a prisoner to certain things. Que estaba encarcelado de ciertas cosas. And I had cosas. read the same word. Y había leído esta palabra. Until finally that word became so alive inside Finalmente of me. Finalmente esa esa palabra creció dentro de mí. That I realized that I didn't have to be captive que anymore. Que realicé que ya no debo de ser cautiva. That I didn't have to be bound to anything. Pues estar amarrada por cualquier Jesus cosa. Because Jesus came to set me Porque free. Porque Jesús vino a liberarme. Turn with me to John 8. Vayan conmigo a Juan capítulo 8 verse 36 36 say amen when you get there digan amen cuando lleguen allí let's see he'll be first <laughs> amen y'all there yet ya llegaron John 8 36 Juan 8 36 therefore if the son makes you free you shall be free indeed así que si el hijo os liberarte Seréis verdaderamente libres. There is one word Hay una palabra that can set you free. Que te puede liberar. There is one word una palabra that will awaken your spirit que despierta tu that you will receive que vas a recibir that can set you free. Que te va a liberar. Now the word of God says that he will set you free. La palabra de Dios dice que él te libera. Set La palabra de Dios te liberará. What? Libra, liberará de qué? From the curse of sin and death. De la maldición 
y de la muerte. From everything that sin and death produces. De todo de lo que la muerte y pecado produce. What does it produce? ¿Qué produce? Fear. Temor. Bitterness. Amargura. Hurt. Pain. Dolor. Anxiety. Ansiedad. Anger. Enojo. Lies. Mentira. Deceit. Mentiras, jealousy, celos, stubbornness, uh, terco, rejection, re, uh, te rechazan, disappointment. De, este, des, all of those things todas esas cosas are produced son produci, producto by, by sin por el pecado and death. Y la muerte. Amen? So if the word of God says si la palabra de Dios dice If the Son makes you free, si el hijo te libera, you shall be free indeed. Serás liberado. Then you should not suffer from any of those no things. Debes de sufrir de ninguna de estas cosas. If you have anxiety, si tienes ansiedad, it doesn't belong to you. No te pertenece. If you have anger, tienes coraje, it doesn't belong no to te you. Pertenece. If you have fear, tienes temor, it does not belong no to you. No te pertenece. Whom Jesus sets free, el que Jesús libera, is free indeed. Está liberado completamente. Ephesians 4:8. Efesios 4:8. Says when he ascended on high, he led captivity captive. There is nothing that can hold you down. No hay nada que te puede detener. There is nothing that can control your life. Nada que controla tu vida. There's nothing, nothing. No hay nada, nada. That can hold you down. Que te puede detener. There is nothing. No hay nada. That has you. Que te tiene a ti. That Jesus hasn't already set you free que Jesús from. Jesús ya no ha liberado, ya lo so, liberó. Do not fear. So no tengas temor. You're a work in progress. Eres un trabajo en el Doesn't proceso. happen overnight. No pasa de noche a día. But when the word of truth Pero cuando la palabra comes de verdad into your heart, entra tu corazón, then that light shines esa luz brilla where that darkness was. Donde había oscuridad. Amen? You do not have to live in darkness. No necesitas que vivir you en la oscuridad. You do not have to live in fear. O vivir en temor. Those things Esas come from the pits of hell. Vienen del infierno. They are sent by the devil to torment Son mandados por el diablo para tormentarte. They are there to tell you y para decirte that you are bound to this. Que estás agotado that you con are eso. in chains to this. Que estás encadenado that there con is eso. nothing that can set you que no free. Hay nada que te puede liberar. It's that voice that whispers. Esa voz que te habla. It's always going to be this way. Todo el tiempo va a ser así. There's nothing you can do. No puedes hacer nada. Just learn to live with Aprende it. Aprende a vivir con esto. But my Bible says, Pero mi Biblia dice, Whom the Son sets free, que el que el hijo libera, is free es indeed. Está liberado. And I want to tell you right now, y les digo ahorita mismo, whatever it is that you might be facing, lo que tú tengas enfrente de ti, because we all have different things that we need to overcome. Diferentes cosas. Tonight. Esta noche. You're going to look that giant in the vas eyes. A mirar a ese gigante, and you're going to command it to go. Y lo vas a mandar, you're going to command fuera. it to get out of your life. Y que se salga it de tu vida. has no authority over you. No tiene autoridad en tu vida. Amen. So the word of God says la that he led captivity captive. La palabra de Dios dice que liberó los captivos. In other words, Jesus took Jesús tomó what held you captive. Lo que te detenía cautivo. He held it captive. Él lo tuvo cautivo. He took it captive. Él lo tomó so cautivo. that it has no strength over your life. Para que no tenga fuerza it sobre has tu no vida. influence over your life. No tiene influencia it sobre has tu no vida. power over your life. No tiene poder sobre tu vida. There is nothing in hell. No hay nada en este infierno that can defeat que puede derrotar the name of Jesus. El nombre de Jesús. And Jesus y Jesús has given you the authority te dio la autoridad to use his name. Para usar su nombre. Go with me to Galatians. Vayan conmigo a Gálatas. Chapter 3, capítulo 3, verse 22. 22. Told you we're gonna we're gonna do some business. Les tonight. dije que vamos a hacer negocio esta noche. Galatians 3:22. Galatas 3:22. I'm gonna read it out of the Amplified. It says, "But the Scriptures picture all mankind as sinners, shut up and imprisoned by sin, 
so that the inheritance, the blessing which was promised through faith in Jesus Christ, the Messiah, might be given, released, delivered, and committed to all those who believe, who adhere to, and trust in and rely on him. Mas encerró la escritura todo bajo pecado para que la promesa fuese dada a los creyentes por la fe de Jesucristo. Empero antes que viniese la fe, estábamos guardados bajo la ley, encerrados para aquella fe que había de ser descubierta. De manera que la ley nuestro halló fue para llevarnos a Cristo, para que fuésemos, fuésemos justificados por la fe. It says, dice, before we asked Jesus to come into our life, Antes de pedirle a Jesús que entrara en nuestra vida, we were shut up and imprisoned by sin. Estábamos encerrados en pecado. But the moment that we believed Pero el momento que creímos, that Jesus died for our sins, que Jesús murió por and nuestros we accepted pecados, him into our hearts, y lo aceptamos en nuestro now corazón, we have an inheritance, ahora tenemos herencia, a blessing bendición, that comes to us que viene nosotros, through faith por fe, in Jesus. En Jesús. We are no longer bound in sin. Ya no estamos amarrados we are no en longer in darkness. Ya no estamos en oscuridad. He has called us out. Él nos sacó. He has called you out. Él te va a a sacar a ti. You are not meant to stay in darkness. No debes de quedarte en la oscuridad. You are meant to inherit the promises of God. Debes heredar las promesas de Dios. All those promises, todas esas promesas, all those blessings, todas esas bendiciones, come through faith in Him. Vienen por fe en él. If you are, if you feel like you are bound, si sientes que estás amarrado, it's because you have not believed. Es porque no has creído. You have not believed. No has creído. What the Word of God says. Lo que la palabra de Dios dice. And that's okay. Y está bien. Because you're going to believe tonight. Porque esta noche vas a creer. I'm showing you the word of truth. Te enseño la palabra de verdad. Don't believe my word, believe no his word. No crees mi palabra, cree la palabra de You can de... believe my story. Puedes creer mi historia. Because he has set me free. Porque me ha liberado. But believe what the word of God says. Pero cree lo que la palabra de Dios So dice. we have to believe Necesitamos que creer. that there is an inheritance que hay and a blessing y bendición that comes to us que viene a nosotros when we believe cuando creemos what Jesus did. Lo que Jesús hizo. What he has provided. Lo que proveyó. Hallelujah. Many times, muchas veces, we believe creemos that God saves us, que Dios nos salva, but we cannot believe that God can heal us. No creemos que Dios nos puede sanar, or we believe that He can heal us, creemos que nos puede sanar, but we can't believe that He can provide for us. Pero no podemos creer que él provee. We take a little bit. Tomamos un poquito. When God has given us everything, cuando Dios ya nos dio todo, we, we settle for just a little bit. Nos, nos uh, recibimos un poquito. When God wants to give you everything, cuando Dios te quiere dar todo, when God wants to set you free Dios from all those things, quiere liberar de todas esas cosas. That once had you. Las que te tenían detenido. How do you believe? ¿Cómo crees? Very simple. Es muy simple. How do you believe for your salvation? ¿Cómo crees en tu salvación? You believe in your heart. Crees en tu corazón. And confess with your mouth. Confesas con tu boca. Same thing for deliverance. Misma con Same con thing for provision. Y con provision. Same thing for healing. Con sanidad. His word does not change. Su palabra no and how cambia. we receive it y como does not change. No we receive it by faith. Lo recibimos por fe. Amen? Amen? Everybody say by faith. Todos digan por fe. Say it again. Díganlo otra vez. Por fe lo recibimos. Say it again. Otra vez. Por fe lo recibimos. When you believe Cuando crees, by faith, por fe, then you begin to receive comienzas a recibir everything todo that God has for que Dios you. tiene para ti. Everything. Todo. There is no limit to no what God can do in your life. Para lo que Dios puede hacer en tu vida. Doesn't matter what addiction. No tiene que ver a qué adicción. It doesn't matter what torment. O qué tormenta. It doesn't matter what people have spoken against you. Dijo, what people have said about you. The ti. people that knew you back o when. Que te conocían en ese tiempo. The word of God says that he makes all things new. Él hace todas las cosas that de means nuevo. you are no longer that person. Tú ya no eres esa persona. You are not in darkness. No estás en la oscuridad. You are in the light. Estás en la luz. And because you are in the light, y porque estás en la luz, you are set free eres liberado from all the works of the de devil. Todo el trabajo del diablo. The problem is la problema es 
Sometimes we just have a hard time believing. En veces that. tenemos un tiempo muy duro de creerlo. We say, I know I'm saved. Digo, decimos, ah, yo sé que soy salva. But I'm still struggling with this. Pero todavía batallo con I'm esto. I'm still dealing with this issue in todavía my life. Estoy batallando con esto I'm en mi vida. I still have this jealousy in Ay, my life. Tengo un celo en mi vida. I'm still dealing with this anger in my life. O tengo coraje en mi vida. I'm still dealing with these issues in my life. O tengo estas problemas en mi vida. Whether they're exposed or they're hidden. Si están escondidas o en lo. I don't need to know what they are. No quiero saber lo que son. But I do know. Pero si sé. That he can set you free. Que él te puede liberar. If you can believe. Si puedes creer. God can set you free. Dios te puede liberar. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why do you think the attacks have come against you? Porque crees que vienen esos, esos ataques Because hacia ti. Because if the enemy can stop you, porque si el enemigo te puede you'll parar, you'll stop doing for God what He's called you to do. Vas a parar y dejar de hacer las cosas Because por Dios. Because the Word of God says that He has anointed you. La palabra de Dios dice he que eres ungido. He has called you out. Él te ha llamado. But you're allowing Pero tú dejas the enemy to lie to, el, lie to you. El enemigo te mienta. And put you back in chains. Y te regresa en cadenas. Bound to him. Agotado hacia él. So that él. you do not accomplish so, para no what God has called you to accomplish. Lo que Dios ha llamado que cumplas. We are being transformed. Estamos transformados. Into his image. A su imagen. We are going from glory to glory. Vamos de la gloria a la gloria. We are not here to stay the same. No estamos aquí para quedarnos igual. God loves us too much. Dios nos ama mucho. To leave us the same para way. Para dejarnos igual. Because when you came to him, you were broken. Estabas quebrantado. It felt like everything had come against you. Como si todo venía hacia ti. You you felt like you had no victory in life. No tenías la victoria en la vida. But then you encountered Jesus. Pero encontraste a Jesús. Then you discovered the Holy Spirit. Y encontraste el Espíritu Santo. Then you found His Word. Y encontraste su palabra. And it's like It consumes you. Y te consume. And it it it's making you new. It's shaping you. Y te hace de nuevo. It's molding you. Into His image. Estás en la imagen de él, a la imagen de él. John ten ten says. Juan diez diez dice. The thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. El enemigo viene a robar, y a matar y derrotar. But I have come. Pero yo ha venido. That they may have have life. Para que tengan vida. And they may have it. Y que la tengan. More abundantly. En abundancia. The thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. El ladrón viene a hurtar, a matar y destruir. He comes to steal your peace. Viene a robar tu paz. To steal your joy. Robar tu gozo. To steal your love. A robar tu amor. Your trust. Tu confianza. Your patience. Tu paciencia. But he comes to steal the truth. Pero viene a robar la verdad. The truth of the word of God. La verdad de la palabra de Dios. That is inside of you. Que está dentro de ti. He wants to take that out. Te lo quiere sacar de ti. And then he comes to kill. Y luego viene a matar. To kill your relationships between your husband or your wife, tu esposa y marido, between your children and yourself, de tus hijos y ti mismo, at your workplace, en tu trabajo, whatever relationships you have, cualquier relación que if tienes, if you allow him to steal from si lo you, dejas que él robe de ti, you are allowing him to kill, lo dejas que mate, to kill those dreams, que mate esos sueños, your future, tu futuro, your hope, tu esperanza, and he kills the identity. Y él mata la identidad that God has given you. que Dios te ha dado. And then what happens? ¿Y qué pasa? He destroys your life. Destruye tu vida. All because Todo porque you allowed him to steal lo dejaste que robara. the gifts that God has Los given you. Dones que el Señor te ha dado. It's not little. No son pequeños. Oh, you know, it's not okay y no está bien. to get angry at your spouse. De enojarte con tu marido. And my husband doesn't Never does anything wrong. Mi esposo nunca hace nada mal. He's the most perfect husband. Él es el esposo perfecto. Always loving. Con mucho amor. See, he never knows when I'm speaking faith. Él nunca sabe cuando hablo en fe. But you know, it's important. Es importante. That even if your spouse si tu esposo does the opposite, hace lo al revés. I refuse to speak that. Yo no voy a hablar eso. I'm going to speak 
what I want to see. Yo voy a hablar y confesar lo que yo quiero mirar. When it comes to your children. Cuando son tus hijos. Speak faith. Hablan fe. Why are you allowing the enemy to come and steal? ¿Por qué dejas al enemigo que venga y robe? He's stealing peace. Él roba tu paz. He is stealing joy. Roba el gozo. He's stealing I mean he he's stealing these gifts that God has given you. Roba todos tus dones que el Señor te ha dado. And then slowly it begins to destroy your relationship. Y poco a poco destruye las relaciones. It begins to destroy you. Y te destruye a ti. All because Todo porque you believed a lie of the enemy. Creíste la mentira del All enemigo. All because you chose to listen to a lie. Todo porque eh, decidiste escuchar esa Rather mentira. Rather than believe the truth. En vez de escuchar la verdad o creer If la God verdad. says that you are more than a conqueror. Si Dios dice que eres más que vencedor. It doesn't matter what obstacles in front no of you. No tiene que ver qué está delante de ti. The word of God inside of you will cause you to conquer even that va a causar que, que you will overcome you will overcome y vas a vencer. so don't believe a lie no creas esas mentiras. because it, it unravels everything Por, else in your porque life eso de, derrama todo lo demás. it's not little y no es pequeño. if there's not peace in your home si no hay paz en tu hogar, recognize it's the enemy Reconoce que that es el has come to steal, que ha a robar, to kill, and to destroy. Y Recognize it Reconócelo. and fight it in the spirit. Y en el Don't fight it with the person. No con la persona. Fight it in the spirit. Pelea en el Get in your closet. En Get tu on closet. your knees Ponte, and begin to command that devil y to go. Ese fuera. That anger cannot stay ese no se in puede my quedar. house. En mi casa. My house mi casa. is a dwelling of peace. Es un lugar It's de a paz. dwelling of joy. Y un lugar de gozo. Hallelujah. Amen. Some of you need to start saying these Algunos things in your home. A you eso. all are looking at me like you need some joy. Me están mirando como si necesitan gozo. I'm telling you. Les estoy diciendo. We need to recognize it. Reconócelo. It's not there. No está ahí. For just a moment. Por un tiempo pequeño. If you open the door, si abriste esa puerta, you've just opened the door. Le abriste la puerta. For him to come in. Para que él entre. And steal, y kill, robe, and destroy. Matar y destruir. Steal, kill, and destroy. Robar, matar y destruir. Everything that God has been building in your life. Todo lo que el Señor ha edificado en tu just vida. Just for a moment. Por un momentito. Of anger. De, de coraje. Of jealousy. O de celos. Of bitterness. O de amargura. Just because somebody said something Solamente against you. Solamente porque alguien dijo algo contra ti. And you can't forgive them. Y no los perdonas. Now you're destroy. You're allowing the enemy to come in and destroy. Dejas que el enemigo entre y destruya. Everything that God has been building in your life. Todo lo que el Señor edificó en tu vida. You are not vida. called just to sit and not make a difference. No eres llamado para no estar sentado. No, God has placed sentado. His hand upon Upon you. Señor puso su he has mano. placed his anointing upon you he ti. has given you a word ha to speak forth para but you've allowed y tú has these things to come and lie to Estas you cosas que y que te hallelujah let me keep going because I got a pues, lot to cover voy a para go with me to Galatians Vayan conmigo a Galatas. Galatians 5 Verse one. Versículo 1. Go ahead and read it. Estad pues firmes en la libertad con que Cristo nos hizo libres y no volvéis otra vez a ser presos en el yugo del servidumbre. Galatians 5:1 says, It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. There is a freedom in Christ Hay libertad en Cristo that he is introducing you to. Que él te ha dado. A lot of people will say, Muchas personas dicen, you know, I'm not ready to serve God. No estoy preparado para servir I'm not a ready Dios. to give up on my freedom. O dar mi, dar mi libertad. I'm not ready to, to you know, live that boring Christian life. No quiero vivir esa vida aburrida de un cristiano. The world defines freedom in a different way. El mundo describe libertad de otra manera. 
says you can do whatever you want dice el mundo puedes hacer lo que quieras you can say whatever you decir want decir lo que quieras you are master over your own life eres maestro sobre you tu vida you can hurt other people puedes lastimar a otros you can say things decir you cosas. can gossip you can do all those things de hablar de gente y decir esas cosas you can sleep around o dormir con diferentes doesn't make personas. a difference no, no hace diferencia told you I'm getting in your Kool-Aid today me voy a meter en el Kool-Aid de ustedes esta noche But see, the world defines freedom el mundo dice que libertad in a way de manera that, that is bondage que es a, a, a gotawa, en, because en cadenas. that type of freedom Esa libertad makes you a slave te hace esclavo to addiction. Adicción. It makes you a slave te hace esclavo to sin. Al pecado. But yet the world says that's freedom. Pero el mundo dice que esa es libertad. The world Liberación. says that's okay. Y el mundo dice que está bien. But when we come to Christ, Pero cuando venemos a Cristo, he gives us a different freedom. Nos da una liberación diferente. He sets us free. Él nos libera. From every bondage. De toda bondad, every demon. De todo every, demonio. Every curse of Satan. De toda maldición. He sets us free. Él nos da liberación. God spoke to us and told us that we are supposed to raise up a thousand disciples. The word of God says that we are supposed to go out to and make disciples of all nations. Have you been discipled? Have you been taught the ways of the Lord? Have you been led by the Holy Ghost as you have been instructed by someone who's been taught of how to live for God? We have people that want to walk with you. We have people that are great men and women of God that want to pray over your life and that they want to take on the responsibility of seeing you grow in Jesus, in Jesus Christ. Today is the day to sign up. Today is the day to become part of this discipleship program. Become part of this army that we're raising up to serve the Lord. This is a daily discipleship program that you will walk with our spiritual trainers and you will experience the goodness of God. Come by faith, pleases God Church. And we will, we will match you up with somebody who will, will encourage you, who will walk with you, who will pray over your life and believe God for the goodness of God for you, for you and your family. You need to become a disciple. Come by faith, pleases God church, or call 956-412-5600 and say, I want to become a disciple of Jesus Christ. Thank you guys for watching today's program and thank you for signing up to become a disciple today. It's a free ministry just for you. God bless you and we'll see you in a, in a short while here at church worshiping the Lord with us. God bless you. We love you. God bless. My friends, I thank you guys for watching Victory in the Valley. I want to encourage you to keep on building your faith. We have a program called, it's actually a radio station online, FPG Radio, and you're going to be able to hear the Word of God being preached 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing the Word of God. The more you hear the Word of God, the stronger your faith is and the greater things you will do for the glory of God. So hear the Word of God through FPG Radio. That's FPG Radio. You can find it at fpgradio.com. You can download it on your phone, on the app, on your app on the Android and iPhone and just listen to the Word of God. We have different men and women of God that are anointed by the Holy Spirit, preaching the gospel 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Some of them have already gone on to, to glory, but they left a great testimony, amen? God bless you guys. Go to fpgradio.com, and don't forget to visit us this Sunday morning at Faith Pleases God Church. God bless you. We'll see you next time. God bless.